We're going to examine this utility function that has elements of perfect substitutes and perfect complements. So given this utility function, let's go ahead and graph the indifference curve for utility equals 12. We're going to find all combinations of x and y when plugged into this utility function will give the consumer 12 units of utility. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take this first term here in parentheses, this 2x plus y, and set it equal to 12, where 12 is representing the level of utility. And then we're going to solve it for y. So we're going to solve this equation for y, and y equals 12 minus 2x. Next thing we're going to do is going to take this second term in parentheses, set that equal to 12, and once again solve for y. So dividing through by 2, solving for y, we get the following result. The next step in graphing, these in, uh, graphing this indifference curve is we're going to graph both of these equations. So I'm going to do that over here on the right. So y equals 12 minus 2x. That's going to be represented by this red line. Vertical intercept of 12, a slope of minus 2. And then graphing the bottom equation, y equals 6 minus 1 half x. That has a vertical intercept of 6 and a horizontal intercept here of 12. So now we're just going to find the intersection between the red line and the blue line. So the equation for the red line, the equation for the blue line. And we're just going to set y equal to y and solve for x. And dividing through by 1.5, x equals 4. And plugging this 4 back into either one of these equations, we're going to see y equals 4. So that's how we get this intersection. The next step is that the indifference curve for u equals 12 has two sections. It's going to consist of the red line right here above the blue line. So that's part of the indifference curve for u equals 12. And then the second part is going to be the blue line above the red line, right here. So the blue line above the red line is this second part of the indifference curve for u equals 12. So getting rid of those parts of the line that are not on the indifference curve, remember this blue line extended all the way to y equals 6 here. I'm getting rid of this, and this red line extended all the way to x equals 6, so I got rid of that. So this indifference curve here will give us all combinations of x and y that will give the consumer 12 units of satisfaction. So what I can do here, just go through some various uh, consumption bundles. So we'll start at the intersection. If x equals 4 and y equals 4, we'll plug that into the utility function. So it's going to be the minimum of 8 plus 4, 12 or 4 plus 8, which is 12, so the minimum of 12 and 12 is 12. Okay, so indeed, at this intersection here, at this kink, utility is 12. Let's try another point. Let's try where x equals 2 and y equals 8. So right here, y equals 8, x equals 2. That should give us 12 units of satisfaction. So plugging those values into the utility function, 2 times 2 plus 8, that's 12. And then on the right-hand right side, we got 2 for x and 8 for y, and that's going to give us 2 plus 16 or 18. But remember, utility is the minimum of those two numbers, so the minimum of 12 and 18 is going to be 12. So indeed, right here, where y equals 8 and x equals 2, it's 12 units of utility. Let's pick another point. Let's try this x equals 12 and y equals 0. Okay, so this extreme point down here, uh, plugging 12 into the utility function for x. We're going to have 2 times 12 plus 0 for y, so that's 24. On the right-hand side of this utility function, x is 12, y is 0, we get 12. So the minimum of 24 and 12 is 12. So indeed, that will give us this point down here. This corner point down here gives us 12 units of utility. Let's look at a point, uh, any point off the indifference curve. We'll get a level of utility that is different than 12. So let's try x equals 6 and y equals 0. 
So that's going to be right here. Uh, in fact, that was part of the, the red line that we initially drew. So here's a point off the indifference curve. X equals 6, Y equals 0. This will not give us 12 units of utility. If we plug those values into the utility function, the, right hand, the, the left hand side here, 2 times 6 plus 0, that's 12. The right hand side here is 6 plus 2 times 0, or just 6. So the minimum of 12 and 6 is 6. So we don't get, we do not get 12 units of satisfaction at this point down here. We only get 6. All right, uh, that's it. I hope you found this video interesting.